guys welcome back to my channel it's chef at melcy here in my container here i've got some drumsticks and some chicken thighs that's been washed with vinegar and ready to be seasoned i'm going in with some all-purpose seasoning i'm also going to be using some chicken seasoning today This is gonna be closely followed by some garlic powder. Some chili flakes. As well as some hot paprika. I love paprika, yes. The spice as well as color. I'm also gonna be going in with some dried parsley. Super. and then I'm just gonna give that a nice little mix just to make sure that all those ingredients all those seasoning is nicely rubbed into my chicken there yes making sure that that's nicely rubbed in super wonderful coating both sides of my chicken thighs there and rubbing that all in fantastic then I'm gonna put this aside for about an hour to marinate if you've got if you haven't got that much time that is fine half an hour is perfectly fine as well but because I've got time today I'm gonna leave it for about an hour whilst I tend to my other ingredients for my other dish okay so making sure that is nicely rubbed in super cover it with my cling wrap cling film and just put that to the side as I say for an hour super so here I've got my clean baking tray and I've got my chicken. It's been an hour now, so I'm gonna go ahead and start to put those in, ready for the oven. Fantastic. So you can put these any way you want. I like to put them the way I'm putting them there because I think it's just worked for me. I've always done it. There's no special reason why I do, but it just works for me. Super, so all my, now I'm gonna be putting my chicken thighs in and this is a non-stick pan, so I don't need any oil because this will start to produce its own oil, juice, and so you don't need to add any to that. Super. So putting all my drumstick in there nicely. Look at the color on those guys. Amazing, wonderful. And that's going in the oven now. So here I've got my spinach. So I've chose to use my fresh spinach here and I'm just cutting off the tip of those. These have been nicely washed in salt water. Absolutely amazing and this is a spinach I like to use when I'm doing this type of dish You can use the one from the supermarket in the bag, but I love to use these Just make sure that you wash them carefully because they need to be washed properly Fantastic, but these are like I always say they're from the Kalaloo family. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start cutting these now Fantastic, so just cut them Like that it really doesn't matter how you do them if you want you can put them in your food processor I personally like to just go through and cut it the way I'm doing it. No special reason, that's just my preference. Fantastic. So yeah, just give it a nice little cut. And then once I'm finished, once I finish cutting it that way, then I'm gonna go in to the heap that it has created there and I'm gonna give it a nice little cut again. You can also use your scissors if you want to your kitchen share. It's really up to you. So going through that again, making sure that my spinach is cut to the sizes that I want. Fantastic. So that looks pretty well done for me now. And I'm just going to put that in my dish 
for a little while. So there you go, that's the amount I got from two packaging, wonderful. Put that aside. And here's my chicken. My chicken has been in the oven for about 20 minutes and this is what they look like. I'm gonna flip them over and put them back in the oven for another 20 minutes before I start adding on anything else to those. Amazing, smells so good guys. This is so easy to do, fantastic, amazing. And tastes so good. I've chosen to keep my skin on because it just, it's like an extra coat for your chicken so it doesn't dry out. And if you don't like skin, you can remove it after it's cooked. It's up to you if you wanna remove it, it's really up to you, but uh, just a thought. Fantastic, wonderful, absolutely amazing. So these are nicely turned now. I think that's my last one. Brilliant. And then I'm just gonna put back that in the oven for 20 minutes. Super. Okay, so I'm gonna carry on now with my spinach dish and I've got my spinach here nicely washed and cut into small pieces. I've got some coconut milk there, some all-purpose seasoning. I'm also gonna be using some 100% coconut oil. I've got some fresh thyme, a red scotch bonnet pepper, some white onion and scallion, red, green, yellow bell peppers. I've also got about a tablespoon of sugar there and one teaspoon of salt. Fantastic. I'm also gonna be using some vegetable stock cube here and I'm gonna be using two of those. Fantastic, that I'm gonna be melting in some water. So I'm going in with my coconut oil into my pan here. Wonderful. And it is that sleep up as we say in Jamaica, yeah. Sleep up says hard to come out, yes. But you gotta persevere, yes. Come out coconut oil. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's the amount I want. Just a little bit more, fantastic. And I'm just gonna, wonderful, yes. That's definitely the amount that I want. Took it time, it's time, but hey ho. Absolutely amazing. This, you can see coconut oil smells so good. I grew up using this so much and this bring back so much memories when I use coconut oil like this. Fantastic, so. My oil is nice and hot. I'm gonna be going in with my white onion and my scallion into that. And just let that saute for a bit until it's nice and translucent. Superb. Wonderful, give that a nice little mix. Yes, fantastic. Absolutely amazing. Oh, the seasoning in that. Oh my goodness, that oil is just amazing. Coconut oil, love it. Going in with my bell peppers nicely. And I'm just gonna let that sweat for a bit as well amongst the scallion and the white onion there. Fantastic. I'm going in also with some fresh thyme. Look at those thymes, nice and green and fresh. Yes, absolutely amazing. Give it a nice little, oh, the fragrance coming from that. Oh, the thyme is just amazing. I'm going now in with my spinach, lovely. And I'm just gonna let that welt for a little bit for about two minutes, one to two minutes. Nicely, I'm gonna cover that and let it welt. Mix it in first, cover it, and let it welt for about two minutes. Wonderful. We've got a nice little mix. Yes, making sure that all those ingredients, the coconut oil is nicely mixed in before I cover over. Oh, smells so good. Absolutely amazing. And by the way, guys, this rice dish that I'm doing, it is a vegetarian dish. Absolutely amazing. If you're a vegetarian, absolutely amazing. Perfect dish for you just to mix up your rice. You don't have to do white rice all the time. Mix it up. So there it is. It's been well tinned for about two minutes there. And now I'm going to be going in. Yeah, give it a nice little mix. Super. Before going in with my coconut milk. Yes, the so coconut oil, coconut milk, absolutely amazing. Yeah, super. And depends on how much rice you're cooking, then, and how much spinach you're using, then you can use a larger coconut milk. The one that I'm using is 165 mils, so for the amount of rice that I'm cooking is perfect. Give that a nice little mix in, super. Wonderful. 
I said, oh, the smell, that cold, I tell you, coconut milk, oil, ev everything coconut is amazing. I believe so. Super, fantastic. Look at that, guys. Oh, I'm now going to be going in with my vegetable stock cube that I've melted here in some water. So that's my vegetable stock. Wonderful. I'm going to cover that over, give it a mix, cover it over for about three minutes for that coconut milk to nicely incorporate with the vegetable stock cube and just leave it there for a bit. So that time has passed, guys. I'm going to be adding my final ingredients. Super, oh my goodness, this smells good. Wonderful. Just seasoning it up now with some all-purpose seasoning. Again, if you don't use all-purpose seasoning, you're a vegetarian or for whatever other reason, please you don't have to add it. But personally, I like to. Fantastic. I'm going in with my sugar. Super. Fantastic. As well as my salt. Yes. Give that a nice little mix. I'm also going to be using some butter here, guys. And again, I'm sure if you're vegetarian, you can find your butter. But butter gives rice, you know that. A nice little, you know, juge to the rice. Yes! Amazing. Oh, my goodness. It smells so good, guys. Perfect. And now the perfect time for me to add my rice. I'm using 750 grams of washed basmati rice here love basmati rice absolutely amazing love it easy to cook and it's just always comes out perfect for me that's for me so yes yeah, 750 grams of basmati rice nicely washed and it's gone into my spinach amazingness give that a nice little mix and cover on low heat and that should take no more than 15 to 17 minutes the max to cook yes Oh, guys, you want to smell this? You have to try this recipe. And don't forget to tag me when you do. Yes, don't forget. So, yes, just check in to make sure that my water is enough. And by the looks of things, it's the perfect amount. As I said, it's tried and proven. Use your finger. First mark, it's a perfect amount. Now I'm going in with my barbecue mix. I've got my honey. I've got my barbecue sauce. And I've got my tomato ketchup. I'm going to be pouring a generous amount of all ingredients into my bowl. Fantastic. Because I'm doing a generous amount of chicken. Fantastic. Going in with my barbecue sauce there. And this brand of barbecue sauce has proven to me that it is one of the best. So I love to use this. And I got this in my local supermarket. Um, pretty easy to source. I'm going in with about a tablespoon and a half of honey. Yes, absolutely amazing. Give it a nice little mix. And yes. I'm also going to be adding some parsley to that. I love parsley. You can add fresh if you've got it. I'm adding dry to this. Wonderful. Super. I think that's enough. Give it a nice little mix. And my chicken is ready to be coated. Perfect. So both sides have had their 20 minutes each and now I'm going in with my barbecue mix that I've just made there, making sure that my chicken is nice and coated. Yes, with a generous amount of that barbecue sauce, guys. And both sides need to be done before you put it back in the oven for just a final on low um, heat for about a final seven minutes, just to make sure that the barbecue sauce gets into your chicken soup. I'm making sure that I've completely covered those chicken thighs and drumsticks as well. Beautiful, how amazing. Oh, the smell. Woo, absolutely amazing, guys. Absolutely amazing. This is just a perfect Sunday dinner, in the week dinner, event dinner, Thanksgiving dinner, Christmas dinner, just add something different to your, you know, your entree, fantastic, okay, so there it is, that side has been done, flipping them over, and I'm going to be doing my other side, super, 
making sure that all those sides are nicely coated as well. Super wonderful. Absolutely amazing, guys. Just love this. Just love coating this chicken with this barbecue sauce. Oh, amazing. Smells absolutely divine. And you can add anything else you want to add to your um your barbecue sauce whatever you might have want to add lime juice whatever it is for an extra tang it's really up to you super this is just amazing brilliant okay guys that's nicely done put it back in the oven for an extra seven minutes and here is my spinach rice guys look at this no more of just plain old white rice amazing there's so many different ways to cook your rice and this spinach rice is just amazing you don't even have to you can use callaloo if you want but personally i like to use the fresh vegetables rather than the ones in the tin but if you've got the tin one of course go ahead and use it so look at my rice nice and shelly you can see all the vegetables that have been used, the coconut smell coming through there. Just absolutely amazing, guys. Super, super amazing dish. You can add this to your Christmas, as I said before, Christmas dish. You can add it to your Thanksgiving dish, just for something different. You can add something else. Vegetarians, hey, hey. And this is my final chicken. It's out of the oven. Look at my honey barbecue baked chicken. And this is the final touch, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you don't miss a video. See you later. Bye.